Hello and welcome to Biz Analyst, Tally on mobile app. Let me quickly show you all the awesome features of our app. Once you open up the app, the first thing you see is your dashboard. On your dashboard, you can track all your key numbers, sales purchase, receipt, payment, outstanding receivable and payable, cash bank balance and your orders. You can change the time period to see data of any date range. Just choose from one of the options or you can select custom date as well. Now once you click on sales, you get to see your total gross sales, total credit note and the difference of it. Your sales trend for the last 12 months and your total sales by customer. You can sort the list by amount or name. Now if I click on the customer, I get to see all the invoices of that customer. By clicking on the I button here, I can also see the customer contact details, which are saved in the ledger master in Tally. I can also access the party's ledger report here. And send it as a PDF or Excel file directly via WhatsApp, email etc. Now if I click on the particular invoice, I get the complete invoice details. Item, quantity, rate, taxes, narration etc. I can share the invoice directly from here to my customer via WhatsApp or email. The invoice copy looks exactly like how you would get it from Tally's default version. If your customer is asking for an invoice copy, this makes it very easy to send it to them on the go. You don't have to call your accountant anymore for this. Now in the sales screen, by default you would always see is your sales by customer. But we have added a lot of smartness in the app for sales reporting. You can view your sales in 9 different ways. For example, if you click on ledger group, you can see your total sales by ledger group. Let's say, you click on sales person A. Now you want to see what stock group has salesperson A sold the most. And within this stock group electronics. You want to find out what stock item he is selling the most. And within this stock item Amazon Kindle. You want to find out what is the monthwise sales of this item. As you can see you can do any permutation combination of sales analysis here in Biz Analyst. Now let's see the receipt. The screen looks exactly similar here. Once, I select the customer, I get the list of all the vouchers created. And, on selecting a particular voucher number, the complete details. Against which bill the money is received, bank details where the money is deposited, check date, bank date etc. Next comes receivables. This is something every business owner needs on the go. Your total outstanding aging wise, 0 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 90 and so on, and your outstanding by customer. We are also showing the credit amount, credit days next and most importantly in how many days is the customer making the payment. If I click on the customer, I get to see the bill wise details as well. If I want to send the outstanding reminder to this customer, I can just send it as a text message or PDF and send it via WhatsApp email etc. It's that easy to send reminders to your customers now. If you want to check that what is the outstanding greater than 120 or 180 days, you can just do it directly from here. You can also filter by ledger group. In this example, we have created groups by salesperson. So I can easily find out outstanding by salesperson as well. You also get a reminder every day in the morning for the bills that are due today and a summary of your dashboard numbers. Next important thing for business owner is their cash and bank account. In your cash and bank balance, you can see the closing balance of each account. Within the bank accounts, you get the balance of each bank. If you click on a particular bank, you get to see the opening balance, all the transactions, and the current closing balance. If you look here, you would see that none of the numbers are mentioned in debit or credit format. Everything is in plus minus, 
red-green format. So it becomes very easy for anyone to understand the report. Next on your dashboard you also see your Sales orders Purchase orders Delivery note And Receipt note Which are very similar to the sales screen and you can drill down all the way to the voucher level. Now next to the dashboard, you can click on the party. Let's say I am planning to visit my customer Air Chemicals. If I click on Air Chemicals, I get to see all the history of this customer. Last sale date, last receipt date, average invoice amount, number of days in which he is making the payment etc. His month-wise sales, month-wise receipt, current outstanding and any pending sales or purchase orders. If I click on sold, I get to see all the items I have sold to this customer. When was the last date I had sold this item, at what rate and the total quantity sold. This makes it very easy for distributors or traders to give price quotation on the go. If I have purchased any item, I will be able to see it here. Now next to the party, you can click on the items. You can see your total inventory value, item wise stock and value. Also if you have set up standard price and cost, min order level, reorder level, you can see it here as well. If I click on Amazon Kindle, I get to see the complete summary of this particular item. If you click here, you can check batch wise, go down wise inventory of this item. If I have set up price list in tally, I can get the entire details here as well. Complete sales summary of this item, total net sales, last sale date, quantity sold, last sale rate, minimum maximum sale rate etc. Similarly purchase summary. Month-wise sales and purchase of this item, HSN code etc. If I click on customers, I get to see all the customers to whom I have sold this item. When was the last date I had sold this item, at what rate and the total quantity sold. This makes it very easy for distributors or traders to give price quotation on the go. You can also sort this report in multiple different ways. If I click on suppliers, I can find out all the suppliers from whom I have purchased this item. You can also drill down stock group or stock category wise. Next in our app is reports, something very important to all the customers. Over here, you get to see all the reports we have created for you. Expenses your total direct and indirect expense which you can drill down all the way to the voucher level. Top report, you can see your top customers, suppliers, items sold purchased etc. You can even filter to see your top 5, 10, 30 etc. Next are the top 2 most liked reports by all our customers. Inactive customers and inactive items. Inactive customer report shows you all the customers with whom you have not sold anything since last 60, 90 days etc. So let's say Air Chemicals, you have not sold anything since this date. You can now click on this customer to find out the history. He had been purchasing from us in these months but now he has stopped purchasing. These were all the items you were selling to this customer. You can quickly send a report to the customer and start to work on getting the business back. Similarly, the inactive items report shows you all the items which you have not sold in the last 30, 60, or 90 days etc. and the inventory value of those items. So let's say Amazon Kindle, you have not sold anything since this date. You can now click on this item to find out the history. You can find out all the customers who had taken this product in the past and see if you can contact them again to sell off this inventory or maybe the suppliers from whom you had purchased this item to see if they can take the stock back. These two reports have really helped a lot of customers to increase the sales by getting the business back from lost customers and also reducing the aged or non-moving inventory items. Rest reports are something that you might use on a regular basis. Daybook Similar to Tally's Daybook, it gives you a list of all the vouchers. You can also filter by voucher type. 
If you want to see only sales vouchers, you can filter it accordingly. You can also search for any transaction by voucher number, amount, voucher type, party name etc. Ledger report, this is just the shortcut for you to check and ledger report to any party. Pending sales and purchase orders, you get to see pending orders by party. By order number. And again all the way to the invoice level. P&L, your profit and loss statement. Please note, our P&L does not capture opening and closing stock right now. Now let us quickly show you how to add additional users for your company and give them limited access. Once you open up the Biz Analyst app, click on the menu button. Then click on Users. Click on the plus button. Enter the username and email address of the user you wish to add. And press OK. By default the user is added as an admin. Let's say I want to give limited access to this user. I will remove him as an admin first. Click here to restrict the user by ledger group. Now let's say he is my salesperson A and I want him to see data of his clients only. Select salesperson A. By only giving him permission for this ledger group, he will only see sales, receipt, and outstanding of his customers only. He will not be able to see any purchase related information since he does not have sundry creditors permission. Once done then click save. Click here to restrict him by stock group. If you uncheck on any group, user will not be able to see inventory stock, sales, and purchase of that group. Click here to restrict him by voucher type. If you do not want your user to see the details of any voucher type, unselect the voucher type here. For non-permitted voucher types, user will only see voucher number and amount. Once done click save. Uncheck the option if you don't want to give access to any user to share the reports. User can still share invoices, outstanding reminders, and ledger report with the clients. User is now successfully added to your company. If the user is already registered with Biz Analyst, he just has to open the app and go to companies. If the user is not yet registered with Biz Analyst then he will get an email from us. Follow the next steps if user is not registered. Open up user's email. And then. Click on accept invite. Now user has to enter his first and last name. Create a separate password. Remember the password must be of minimum 8 characters. Enter the phone number. And click on create. User has now successfully registered with Biz Analyst. User now has to download the app from the App Store or the Play Store, sign in into the app using the new email address and password. He can now see the data of your company as well with just limited access. And if let's say the salesperson left the job then. Admin can just delete him from here and it will wipe off all the data from his phone as well. This way the admin always has the control over all his users using the app. Please note that only the admin has the rights to see reports like expenses, PNL, cash bank balance etc. Other users will not be able to see this reports. Finally you can view as many companies as you want in the app. We also have the functionality to view data of multiple tally in one app. So if you have one office in Mumbai and one in Delhi, you can see data of both the locations in one app only. Or, if you are a CA or accountant, you can also give company-wise permission to your customers. So for example, customer A will only see company A and customer B will only see company B and so on. Or if you are a business owner having some personal companies in tally, you can give access of a particular company only to your users and not share personal tally company data. Our app works completely in offline mode as well. So whatever data has been synced in your office, you can view it at any point in time. You don't need your PC to be on to be able to view your data. Also our app will continue to work if you have not renewed your TSS. We have created custom settings and configurations in the mobile app for the users which they can see in the next video. Thank you for watching our video. 
If you have any questions please feel free to reach out to your tally partner or to us. Happy to have you as our customer. Have a great day. Bye bye.